Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to the Tarot Adventure. My name is Robin and I'm very happy to have you here today for another pick a card reading with me. First of all, I would like to check in with you guys. How is everyone doing? It's something that I've been thinking about lately and let me tell you why. At the moment, right now at the time of filming this video, um, here where I live, you, you can really feel that uh, winter is coming. I know it's a really worn out phrase, but uh, last night we had the first snow of the season. And um, no matter how magical uh, that may feel, it is also quite a difficult time of the year. The days are very short. We have on average about uh, four hours of sunlight. And on the days when it's cloudy, you can't even enjoy it that much anyway. So you can imagine that uh, for many people, this has a big impact on their mood, the way they feel every day. So uh, this is a constant reminder for me to uh, check in with the people I care about, the people I love, because um, oftentimes as you are going through something, it's really easy to push it to the side, to ignore it, whatever it is, uh, feeling down, feeling anxious, um, any other problems you may have at the current time. And um, you may not consider sharing it with a friend until it's uh, perhaps a little bit overdue and uh, uh, the emotion, the mood uh, has gotten stronger and it's weighing uh, more heavily on you. So uh, this is why I made this mental note to check in with everyone I know and uh, see how things are going for them. And if you yourself find that uh, your mood has been a little bit off lately for whatever reason, if you are going through um, a difficult stage of your life right now and uh, you feel like you need to talk to someone, this is your reminder to reach out to someone you can trust, a friend, a family member, perhaps a teacher or even a professional, if that is the case. Because oftentimes, just um, Speaking out the words, whatever has been burdening us, can really help us uh, see our situation a little bit more clearly and um, can help us find some direction and some meaning, regardless of the hardships uh, that life throws at us. So um, I really felt like I needed to mention all of this. Perhaps some of you actually needed to hear it. So with that being said, Let's get into today's topic because I do feel that there will be a lot of positive energy on the table and bring you some joy as you look towards the future. So since the year will be soon coming to an end, I thought we would already have a little peek into the year of 2023. And you know what? I thought, let's check out uh, what three good things can happen to you in 2023. So three things to look forward to in the next year. I already apologize in advance if I'm going to be twisting these words. Uh, it's already a bit of a mouthful. So three things to look forward to in 2023. Today I have three groups prepared for you. We will be getting some tarot. I already have some oracle cards shuffled for you. I will be channeling only joyful and uplifting energy from the angels. I have my little angel here on the table and I have uh, three angels here guiding you towards your group. There will be, of course, close-ups of each of the cards and their corresponding stickers so you have an easier time deciding. But with that being said, let me introduce you to the three groups. And let me also mention that if you are enjoying my videos and you haven't subscribed already, do you consider doing so? I post pick a card readings every week. I will sometimes be doing some energy check-ins. And also I love doing uh, short card polls, which will always be published in a form of a YouTube short. So let's get into the groups. For group one over here, we have the card Remain Positive as well as the bike sticker. Next, for group two, we have the card It's Up To You and also this old gramophone. And finally, for group three, we have the card of Opportunity 
as well as this beautiful pink blossoming rose. So these are the three groups that I have for you today. You can certainly take a moment to pause the video while you decide what group to go for. Do trust your intuition because your intuition is always right. And I will take a moment as soon as I can find my new Palo Santo stick. I will take this moment to cleanse the energy for all of the groups. I hope that we have beautiful, positive energy and blessings coming through for all of the three groups today. Please show us what is happening in 2023. Three beautiful things to look forward to for all of my viewers, everyone tuning into this video right now. Thank you so much. All right. So with that being said, you will find the timestamps in the description box below. And I will see you in your own group's reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful group one. How are you all doing? So today we will be finding out together what are the three most important things to look forward to in the year of 2023. Perhaps uh, some blessings coming in, into your life, some much needed life changes, new friends or perhaps a new soulmate. I can't really know that just yet, but we will get your tarot cards in the moment. We also have here some pre-shuffled oracle cards that we will check out together. So you chose this bike which um, makes me think of movement and uh, charging in towards a new experience. It may also require a little bit of hard work. Of course, it does take a little bit of effort to ride a bike, but it's also a very pleasant experience. So I think that whatever work you may have to do will actually feel easy. It will feel enjoyable. You also have the card Remain Positive. So, um, if you have been struggling with a difficult situation where you can't really see the light at the end of the tunnel, I think 2023 will be the year uh, where you'll actually see a change for the better. Things will improve for you. Um, if you are willing to have faith, uh, place your life in the hands of a higher power and really trust that everything will work out. So. This is your card. Let's place it right here, perhaps. And let's first have a look at your oracle cards, shall we? So, we have the daily fortune cards here. And you got the following cards. You got unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial change, all right? You got younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man, and then you also got clouds, temporary problems. So, um, whatever you thought might be a long term issue will actually prove to be something temporary, something you can easily overcome. All right. So you have this beautiful little card here with a, is it a Labrador or a Golden Retriever? <laughs> I like both breeds, but honestly, I can't always uh, tell them apart. And the two little kittens and they're all having a nap together. Absolutely adorable. So let's see what the message is. Happy magic for pets. Animals are my friends. I am kind and loving to them. And we will get to that in a moment. Let's get all of your cards under the table. You also got the card of forgiveness. Number 12, compassion and kindness. All right, what else is here? You also got this card, number 14, ride the wave. Yes, then you got green man's bride. Okay, sacred union, commitment ceremony, maturing into deep relationship. And I also have two cards from the, from the Herb Crafters Tarot deck. And I will be using them as oracle cards. 
So we have the Tenover with Alpha Alpha. And then we also have the Nine of Earth with Apple. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that definitely for some of you, uh, the angels here speak of a relationship. It is um, either a relationship you are already in or uh, perhaps a new budding relationship with a brand new person or someone you already know. It may be a younger man, but what I'm seeing here is that this relationship will really have a huge potential for growth with a green man's bride. The words sacred union really stand out. So I'm getting the feeling that whoever this person is, they are a very high level soulmate, someone you are destined to meet in this lifetime. Um, someone who came here to change your life for the better and vice versa. I'm seeing this is a very mature relationship where uh, both people are honest and open about their feelings. They really prioritize the relationship over everything else. And this um, may also mean the deepening of a relationship. So if the two of you were dating, perhaps you decide to um, make your relationship more official. If you have already been together for a while, um, you may decide to get engaged or get married. So I see um, this deepening of the relationship, making some vows to each other and really uh, taking the commitment very, very seriously and pouring your heart into this relationship. So this, I feel, will be one of the blessings one of the good things to look forward to into the next year. What I'm seeing here with the card Forgiveness, Compassion and Kindness, and with also with this little card Happy Magic for Pets, is that in the next year, being around animals in particular will have a very positive effect on you. It will be a very healing experience. Perhaps you already have a pet that you really care about, Perhaps you will be getting a pet, a new animal, will enter your life in the year 2023. But uh, this could also be your friend's pet. It could also be a visit to a farm or an animal sanctuary that all of a sudden um, opens your heart to the love of all of the little creatures, all of the little souls on the planet. And this will make you feel very warm and fuzzy inside. There's a gentleness associated with um, caring for an animal. It is this bond of unconditional love. And um, I think that if you've been dealing with something, um, if you've been down for whatever reason, then animals or one animal, one pet in particular, will, will have a very strong positive impact on your healing. They will really support you on your healing journey with their positive energy, absorbing any kind of um, heaviness in your aura, in your field. I'm seeing that um, perhaps for some of you, uh, you will be opening up to this uh, love and caring feeling for all animals of the world. Perhaps if you have been considering becoming vegetarian or vegan for a while, um, 2023 will be uh, the year where you finally take that step and you feel motivated to show your compassion for animals in that manner. But uh, no matter where you are on your life's journey, I do think that uh, this unconditional love and kindness will um, really bring a lot of healing, very high vibrational energies around you. So this is really beautiful to see. In the year 2023, I'm really seeing you being inspired to make changes in your life, to get rid of the things that no longer serve you. I see it here with the Unicorn card and also with the Ten of Air, which is the Ten of Swords and Alpha Alpha, that you may be keen to undergo a transformation. It may be that uh, you finally start to prioritize yourself if you haven't been doing so you um, may feel inspired to 
start to eat healthier, to exercise more, to get on a good sleeping schedule, perhaps uh, start a meditation practice or yoga, anything that is balancing and uh, healthy for you in the long run. I can see your higher self really guiding you very much into that direction. And uh, for some of you, it might entail um, a full transformation, a glow up, if you will, where you emerge as a different person, as the person that you always dreamt of being. But definitely with the Ten of Air, if it is the case for some of you, you'll be releasing old habits, things that no longer serve you, in order to make room for the new, new attitudes, new habits, perhaps for some of you, new relationships. If you um, find yourself in a place where um, you feel that your current friends don't really support you, don't really get you, perhaps you've been on a spiritual journey, a um, journey of self-development, and there are some out there who um, have been dragging you down. I see you uh, releasing those connections, but with kindness, in order to make room for new people to enter your life. People who uh, love you and care for you and have your best interest at heart. And with a nine of earth here, I do see abundance. If it has been so that um, you have struggled financially in the past, I see here a development for the better. I see growth and abundance. And it might not necessarily come in the form of um, a sudden uh, flow of money like a, a lottery win or some kind of huge inheritance, but I see you um, growing something here for yourself and for your community. I see you doing something, perhaps in your own work or a passion project, some kind of endeavor that is beneficial to those around you, which will all which will also bring you lots of abundance, be it in the form of um, financial gain or other things to benefit from in the practical realm. So I definitely see you doing that. And uh, perhaps this newfound sense of abundance can be a, a bit hard to navigate at first, especially if you have struggled in the past. You are being encouraged here to go with the flow, to ride the wave, the angels are saying, uh, you will get the hang of it. You will learn how to swim through any kind of waters. As long as you go with the current, not against it. So uh, if you feel like something is working out for you, if you're seeing positive change, then definitely uh, set your focus on that thing and do invest your time and effort in anything that feels beneficial. But... Um, if there's um, something that makes you feel like you are struggling in vain, uh, that you are not getting any return on your investment, at the same time the angels are urging you to reconsider and to question whether it is really your calling or whether it's time to let go. But anyway, any problems that um, may have felt long-term are actually temporary. So things will improve for you, quite certainly. So, these were your oracle cards. Give me a moment to put them away, and then we will get your tarot to have a closer look at the three most important things that you can look forward to next year. All right, see you in a second. All right, so here we have your tarot. I will be using this deck to uh, get the three most important themes and I will use the other deck to clarify. So let's go. Let me give your cards a quick shuffle. And one of the cards fell out onto my lap and it is the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory. So, for group one here, um, three most important things to look forward to in 2023. All right, I want three cards. Three cards, three themes, three most important things. Let's see. First card is the Queen of Cups. Place her over here. 
Two more cards, please. This one wants to come out. It's the devil. Okay. One more card. So I'm definitely seeing this uh, message of love and compassion. So this is the Eight of Swords. Um, love and compassion towards all creatures, also towards friends, family, just a lot of love overflowing and it's gonna feel easy for you, it's gonna feel effortless. I reckon that you'll be so content with your life, your own cup will get so full that you will finally be able to uh, give to everyone else unconditionally a lot of love and a lot of care and I see that it is something that brings you a lot of joy and meaning. Over here with the Devil card, um, going back to what I was saying earlier about giving up bad habits, um, it is indeed so that um, the year 2023 will prove uh, very fruitful for you to engage in a new lifestyle. If um, there's any kind of habit, any kind of activity that has been detrimental to you, any toxic influences that have followed you in your life. 2023 um, will be the year when you can finally break free of those, you can finally drop them and embrace a new attitude, embrace a new sense of self-worth and happiness. And the message is also partly reflected here um, with the Eight of Swords, which is um, a card of feeling bound up, being restrained by something uh, and not being able to see the full picture. And again, since uh, this is all about the good things to look forward to, I do see you uh, breaking free of that bond, if you will, and of the limiting beliefs that may have held you back in the past. Let's pull some clarifiers for all of these cards to um, get some more details get a bigger picture of the whole story. So, let's clarify the cards on my shuffle. Let's clarify all of these cards, starting with the Eight of Swords. I'm actually quite curious what the Eight of Swords is about. What are you breaking free of? Both of these, these cards, uh, to some degree, reflect breaking free of something. But with the Eight of Swords, um, it is more about some kind of um, mental prison, typically that's what it's about, uh, and with the devil it's more a behavior, a toxin in the environment, it may be an addiction in some cases, something you feel enslaved by, something that is in, not in your best interest. Okay, so let's see, Eight of Swords first, I will draw three cards, three clarifiers, we have the card of death, um, which is also indicative of transformation. We have the Six of Cups here. And one more. One more card to clarify the Eight of Swords. This one wants to come out. And we also have the Five of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is that this um, feeling of being trapped, this mental prison, if you will, um, comes from uh, some form of disappointment in the past. Um, with the Five of Cups, uh, this card speaks of something that was lost. And the Six of Cups um, is a card of reminiscing about the past. Perhaps uh, um, it could even be a former lover, as it is shown in the card. That's not necessarily the case for everyone, but it does evoke a certain feeling of nostalgia. So, there has been a past experience that ended in disappointment. For some of you, this may have been a relationship. And it left you with a bitter taste in your mouth. And also with diminished confidence. Like you really didn't believe in yourself as much as you used to. You started doubting your qualities, um, perhaps your attractiveness. But with a death card here, I see a change, I see a transformation in this precise attitude. You are finally starting to see, finally starting to acknowledge that the past is in the past, that another 
person's actions do not define us. So um, if someone disappointed you, if someone treated you um, a certain way, if someone made you feel less than, it is not your fault. It is entirely on them and the way they deal with relationships or the way they are um, incapable of dealing with relationships in a healthy way. All right? So your eyes will be open to the fact that it was indeed not your fault. That is, um, that there is nothing wrong with you. You are worthy. You are worthy of love and affection. This could also apply to a friendship. If um, a friend of yours let you down, if they uh, betrayed you in some way. Again, um, this does not reflect in any way who you are and what you are worthy of. It only shows what kind of person they have been themselves. And I see you um, finally processing that. Perhaps um, on a conscious level, you understand it, yes? You can say it to yourself, it is not my fault. I do deserve better. Or you can say that to yourself consciously. But I actually see it clicking for you on a subconscious level, which is the most important level. And when you actually regain that freedom, that sense of self-worth, it will make you behave in a whole different way. You will be radiating happiness. You, you will be attracting the right kind of people in your life, the, the people who will treat you right. Yes? And perhaps for those of you who will undergo a glow up, it is that exact change that um, really helps you redefine yourself and really makes you feel positive and balanced. And again, that really brings in only um, good energies high vibe people and situations. Okay, so let's get some clarifiers for the devil here. What is this all about? We already have two. We have the Ace of Cups here. We also have the Four of Cups. One more card, please. Okay, and this is the Princess of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. So, I see here with a Four of Cups that for some of you there may have been a period of um, gloom, kind of grey feelings, um, maybe just feeling a bit down, uh, perhaps uh, feeling low on energy, um, not wanting to see people, not wanting to um, engage into any new experience. There's this meh kind of feeling like you're, you're just feeling down and nothing can really uh, cheer you up. And uh, perhaps this has been the shadow that um, has followed you, at least for some. Um, I see this reflecting the devil card. So it feels a little bit like um, an addiction to this sense of unhappiness, but perhaps that's the wrong phrasing because, of course, um, when, when we're feeling down, you can just uh, turn your day around, you know, with a pep talk or um, reading a motivational quote or, um, you know, anything like that. It is a process. Change usually comes from inside. Sometimes uh, there are factors in our life um, bring it, bringing us down we, and we don't have much control over those aspects. So, of course, if this has been the case for you and if it is the case for you right now, do remember to reach out to someone, get it off your chest, uh, talk to a professional if you need to. But what I'm seeing here is renewed hope with the Ace of Cups. It is really, as you can see on the card, you're holding on to something in your heart that feels really dear to you. And that will turn things around for you um, in the next year. In the year 2023, perhaps you are watching this video actually in 2023. So I should say this year, it can be the case for some of you. But there is a sense of renewal and the sense of hope with this particular Ace of Cups. Um, perhaps it may come in the form of meeting someone new, 
a new romantic connection or a new soul connection with a friend, but I see it as a very powerful interaction and it, it really lets the light shine in to your heart. Um, once again, it's like the rain stops and, and the clouds start to clear away and you can see a, a glimmer of sunshine. But really, this Ace of Cups is full of love, um, just as much as our Queen of Cups over here is. So it's either a new experience, a new person, something um, happens over here and it, it gets you out of the trappings of your own mind, away from this shadow, away from this toxicity, and uh, shifts your focus towards a brand new future and one that's full of hope and also one that's full of love. I can see that for some it's not necessarily a person as much as it is a new endeavor. Perhaps it's a passion project because we see here the pentacles very um, obviously shown on the card. Um, perhaps you are starting to learn something new because the, the page of pentacles is a card of the apprentice, it, it is a card of learning. So perhaps you are learning how to do something new, something that you've always wanted, a, a new field of study, a new job. But it's very much rooted in the practical. So you're doing something practical, something very earthly, and it will also bring you a lot of satisfaction. It will um, fill up your cup, give you a new sense of direction, um, finally letting the clouds clear so you can see the light and you can finally see the direction where you're headed towards. So again, it, it could be a new connection, either romantic or platonic, but it could also be a new endeavor like a job or a study program, a course a passion project, something that will keep you very busy, um, always constantly learning as you go along, and that will bring you a lot of satisfaction. And I see you from here on an upward trajectory, feeling better and better about yourself, about your life, where you're at, and where you're headed towards. So finally, let's pull on this beautiful Queen of Cups. Let's see what she has to say for us. Let's get three clarifiers for the Queen of Cups. Three clarifiers, please. All right. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We will keep on shuffling. Just note that some really good cards came out. Um, we had the Ace of Wands. Oh, okay, we have the Eight of Wands. So, again, the wheel is turning. You are entering a new cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. And if there have been times in the past where you felt unloved or unworthy of love, this is again changing. There's new opportunities coming in for you to give and receive love, again, through a romantic connection, through some kind of work connection. So I see it very much with your group. Um, something that you're working on gives you great, great satisfaction. Um, you put a lot of effort into mastering something and that gives you a lot of emotional fulfillment. Now, if we're gonna look at this whole row as a whole and going back to uh, your initial oracle messages. I see here the Queen of Cup, Queen of Cups, a matter of love, something that you've been working towards, so uh, you, a relationship that you have invested in, starting to move very fast and all of a sudden you get these great uh, surprising news. So for many of you I see here a proposal. Um, I see in some cases um, your partner is suggesting that you move in together. For those of you who are not in a connection, but um, um, you have a romantic interest, you have a crush, someone you really like, I see this news coming um, all of a sudden, this uh, conversation where they reveal the, their feelings. So again, this cup is really overflowing with love. It can play out differently in different scenarios, but the Eight of Wands is definitely a card of swift movement. Um, this can also mean travel. 
So if you have been dreaming of um, moving to a new place, perhaps it's a place that um, you have um, always dreamt of uh, moving to, living there, and you have worked very hard to maybe uh, make the savings or looking for jobs at that particular place, I see again uh, things starting to move very fast for you with the Wheel of Fortune and you finally being able to make that move or um, being accepted at uh, that new job that you applied for or that new place of study, take it as you will. But I see here a lot of love and a lot of investment, a lot of hard work that you have put into something, a relationship, a, a dream, take it as you will, finally taking off for you. So things are moving into the direction that you desire very, very fast. So this is really wonderful news. I'm really very happy for you, Group One. This is all I had for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe. I post pick a card readings every week and I really think that you will enjoy your time here, so do consider sticking around. But for now, I'm wishing you a good day or a good night wherever you are. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hello, my lovely group two. Welcome to your reading. So today we will be asking your angels what are three things to look forward to in the year 2023. Today you chose this um, gramophone sticker which makes me think about dancing to your own music, to your own tune. Um, at the same time, it makes me think about expressing yourself freely um, in the form of art, music, but also uh, just being um, quite loud about the things that you want, the things that you are after in your life. And it's up to you. Uh, just as a, the card says, Mm, there's this feeling that um, whatever changes, whatever good things uh, you're about to experience, uh, it is as a result, um, as a consequence of your own work and your own, uh, own efforts. And it's up to you to receive these blessings into your life. I feel that um, whatever achievements, whatever moments of happiness await you in 2023, they will come to you because you made them happen. You brought them into your world, into your existence. So um, I feel that uh, this will be the mood that starts your reading. So hard-earned achievements, uh, blessings that you can actually pat yourself on the back for. We will place your card right here. And um, first we'll have a look at your pre-shuffled oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot to see um, what are the three main topics, three main things uh, that you can look forward to in the next year or in the current year if you are watching in 2023 right now. So let's have a look at your uh, daily fortune cards first. You have seahorse. Family matters or family matters. So we can put it this way that um, family will be important to you. Yes. Or um, there will be some uh, situations to be dealt with in your family. You can really uh, twist it both ways. Then we have lion. Time to act. So again, this uh, theme of uh, taking action, um, taking ownership of your life and um, bringing positive change and positive forward movement right now through your actions, through uh, your hard work and persistence. And then we also have Vine. Uh, seek out information that will help you, all right? So um, we'll have a look at your cards and see uh, if we can get any hints on what this may be about. Um, then let's have a look at your little message card with a beautiful little girl here. Um, she has a flower crown and let's see what this is all about. So, time capsule. I have the confidence to be myself. So again, um, it is this uh, theme of 
dancing to uh, your own music, doing the things that please you, and also um, being yourself, being true to yourself in the process. So uh, being very open about expressing uh, your own true authentic self to the world. So that's really beautiful. Um, I'm getting this um, a sort of a choked up energy in my throat. And it really feels like... Hmm, it's that feeling when you're so happy that you could cry. Uh, there's some joy attached to it. Like this, this excitement. Um, it's almost as if... Uh, it's a culmination of a very difficult process that you've been through, that you have put all your focus and, and hard work, and it required a lot of self-discipline. And um, it is that feeling that oh, when, when you finally reach the end of it, uh, you reap the fruits of your labor, you can enjoy your victory, and um, it's almost like you want to uh, shed tears of joy, tears of happiness. Um, Something like, uh, you know, graduating or um, getting the job that you really, really wanted and worked hard for. Or, um, I don't know, uh, perhaps uh, for some of you it could be uh, getting pregnant after a long process. It, it could really be anything. So maybe the cards will re reveal some of that for us. But I, I wanted to say, I wanted to emphasize this particular detail because um, sometimes I will... Uh, get these kind of energies during the readings, which are very physical. I, I, I channel, channel them through my body, and uh, I really uh, felt that it was worth expressing this one right now. Uh, then we have connection, the card of connection. Um, seven, we are all connected. All right, let's see how many cards we have here. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to arrange them. We'll put this card of connection right here in the middle. Then we have the Six of Water with Borage. Then we also have Crystal Magic. Crystal Magic, Creation, Dawn, and the Beginning. Card number 21, so number seven, number 21. They may be significant, both of them. Then we also have, over here, um, a card of Intention, number 22. And we have number 48 with Wishing Well. All right, so hmm. I'm really drawn to this side first. So uh, let me give you my thoughts on it. With Wishing Well, um, we can right away interpret it as a wish that you have made at some point in the recent past, or uh, perhaps even in the more distant past, it is a matter that is very important to you. We see how this world is like um, covered in gold, like so many people have tossed gold coins, or you have tossed gold coins yourself into it so many times that it filled up. I, I, I really sense this really, really big desire really big wish that you have had, that um, perhaps you have thought about it day in and day out for such a long time. And it's almost as if, <laughs> so interesting, just as you are preparing to walk away from it, almost in, in a sense to, to give up, to, to let go, something happens. You know, a, a spark of magic occurs and, you know, all of a sudden your wish becomes manifest. This is the feeling that I'm getting off the card. And of course, with anything, any kind of manifestation, um, any kind of wish, of course, w we are asked to surrender to the universe, perhaps not to cling so tight onto it. So it, it so happens. Oftentimes, that in those moments when we are prepared to let it go, you know, prepared to walk away, um, in all honesty, then, you know, all of a sudden it happens, you know, all of a sudden it comes true for us. It is always in the most surprising of moments and also in the most surprising of ways. So this is what I'm getting from this card. Um, I also see here with number 21, Crystal Magic, Creation, Dawn, and the beginning. So this is only the beginning 
of your adventure. Um, it is only the beginning of what it is granted to you. So you, you may think that um, this wish is the uh, be-all and end-all, but actually it is just the start of a whole new adventure and a whole new chapter in your life. And I feel that it is something that will uh, bring you so much joy and you know it will expand and expand and really be very transformational. So I feel that the year 2023 will be um, one for you to remember. It will be, um, I sense, one of the best years of your life when you're old and gray and you, you look back upon your life I feel that you will remember this year 2023 I think that this intention um, has had some time to set to harden to, to crystallize and um, it formed this egg of potentiality and the waiting this waiting phase we see here with the owl um, has brought to you so much wisdom and a higher perspective. It, it, it gave you a bird's eye view, if you will, on your life, what you are here to do, what kind of uh, experiences, experiences you would like to have. So uh, this wait has not been in vain. I feel that you have used your time very, very wisely and perhaps it is this exact wisdom um, that um, you have achieved, you have gained throughout this whole process. Um, it will bring you some form of benefit in the year of 2023. You will benefit from this wisdom. You will benefit from all the knowledge that you have gained. You have perhaps um, seeked out some information that um, helped you through the process and um, now perhaps your gift uh, to the world will be to share that knowledge with other people. Share it freely so others can benefit from your experience, from um, what you've been through. Because I see it here with the card of connect, connection, connectedness. How, how you are ready um, to be part of a community. Um, you realize that uh, by helping others, you help yourself, that we are all one, we are all interconnect interconnected. So um, every time we help someone out, um, we help raise their energy. And through that, um, raising the energy, raising the vibration of the whole world as a whole, if we would be able to do this more often, trying to help each other out, trying to support each other, make other people's day better. We would see so much progress as a society. Instead of uh, putting others down, um, instead of uh, uh, criticizing and uh, fighting fault and gossiping, I don't know. It is just my thought that um, if we could turn that around, and I, I don't mean to um, force ourselves to be um, kind to people we just don't get along with, but um, if we feel called to uh, make an effort uh, to, for example, help someone out, someone who really needs it, that would be rewarded and we would see this um, almost tenfold return of, of that positive energy back into our lives. And it, it can manifest in many forms. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, if you donate a small amount to a charity today, then you, you will be a millionaire in a week. It doesn't really work, or, or it doesn't really work like that. Um, the return can come in many forms, but uh, it will always, always be um, first and foremost um, rewarding experience for us on a soul level. And I also um, want to emphasize over here that you will show a lot of uh, bravery, a lot of determination in the year 2023. Um, you will feel very confident and um, always um, one step ahead of the game. Like, you know what to do. You know how to do it. You have the knowledge, right? The, the know-how. Really, I think um, life has uh, taught you many things and uh, now is the time to put those to action, you know, put them to, to work. So that all the knowledge and wisdom that you have gained will work uh, to your benefit, to your best interest. I see again 
um, for some of you that um, there will be some uh, family matters to tend to or there will be this uh, feeling that um, family really matters to you so much you, you'll have very dear, very fond uh, feelings towards um, your family members you, you always get that support um, from them and you also uh, support them also towards their growth and their happiness this is what I'm seeing here and also here with this uh, Six of Water with Borage it is again um, this sense of community, it is this sense of um, giving and receiving and also um, there's a feeling of just being carefree on this card. It almost feels like a summer holiday. You don't have to worry about work, you don't have to worry about the everyday things, the house chores, the errands. You know, it, it is your little moment to to relax, to let go, to celebrate with the people you love. There's a generosity attached to it, giving and receiving. And with the Six of Cups in general, it is a card of nostalgia, fond memories of the past. So um, there may be very well some times for you during the year of 2023. 20, it doesn't necessarily have to happen during the summer, but um, you will repeatedly get this beautiful feeling, um, perhaps when uh, spending time with uh, the people dearest to you, that, you know, you are carefree. That you are um, living your uh, best life. You will uh, go down memory lane together. I feel there's just this feeling of friendship and happy times. This is what I'm getting off this card. So, um, these were your oracle cards. I think I covered everything that there was to cover over here. So give me one moment to quickly clean them up and then I will get back uh, with your tarot. Okay, see you in a second. So, group two, welcome back. Now we're gonna get into your tarot. I will use this deck to draw the main messages, the main themes, three of them, and then I will use this other deck to clarify clarify all of the messages. Okay, so for group two over here, I would like to know what are the three main things, most important things that they can look forward to in the year 2023. Um, what kind of uh, blessings, what, what kind of good things are coming their way that they can look forward to? Another shuffle. I really like your energy here, group two. There is a lot of excitement in the air. I can sense it. So, three cards here. Three cards for group two. Three cards. This one. We have uh, 13, death. We have then the nine of cups. And one more. One more, please. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so obviously, you know, this is um, a reading talking about the good things. So again, uh, there's nothing to be uh, discouraged by here with a Death card and especially not the Nine of Swords. This is not a prediction of um, any kind of uh, turmoil, any kind of anxiety. Quite the contrary, I feel that um, if you have been going through something, dealing with uh, some anxiety um, in general or um, over a particular aspect of your life, um, I feel that this is going to be relieved in 2023. That uh, you'll finally be able to to um, be at peace, um, have some ease of mind. So something that um, you have worried about in the past, uh, some situation here will improve. Now, over here with the card of death, um, this is a message that um, parallels group one a little bit. So uh, for them also, there was some kind of transformation going on. For them, I feel that it was on a larger scale. Um, um, it was uh, much needed, much overdue. I, I, I think for you right here, it's not so much about uh, changing oneself. 
it's not about uh, breaking any kind of habit, nothing like that, but I sense that um, it is the end of one chapter and the begin beginning and and uh, the beginning of another. So um, uh, this doesn't have to be um, anything very dramatic. It can be as simple as um, graduating and um, getting into a new job. It could be something like um, transitioning from single life to uh, life as a couple or uh, transitioning from a committed relationship into a marriage or um, even for some it could be uh, becoming a parent, becoming a mother or a father and um, having that change of status, if you will. But again, um, it is about wrapping up one chapter. This doesn't have to be any kind of bad chapter, you know, just one chapter of your life ends and a whole new one begins and you know both of them can be very beautiful experiences and I see here with the nine of cups that it is about wish fulfillment um, it is uh, about you know filling up all of your cups and accomplishing that emotional wholeness emotional completeness bringing your dreams um, into life so again going back back to the message of the wish fulfilled, I do think that um, whatever that is, and maybe we'll see it in a second with the clarifiers, um, it will bring you the sense of completeness, of wholeness, because it is something that you very much dreamt of, something that you very much wanted in your life. This is all I'm going to say for now. Let's pull some clarifiers for each of the cards. So we see, let's see what we get. Let's see here for group two, clarify. For all three cards, I think I'm going to start with the Nine of Swords here because I want to know what you are getting really for. Let's get that out of the way, shall we? So for the Nine of Swords, I would like three cards to clarify. Three cards to clarify the Nine of Swords, please. By the way, I am not taking reversals today. Alright, we have two cards already. Coming out here, we have the uh, Prince of Chalice, Prince of Chalices, which is the Nine of Cups. Yes, is it the Prince? And then it says the Princess. Is it the Page of Cups in this deck? We'll just roll with it, right, and interpret everything intuitively. Yeah, I think it's the Page. Now that I think about it. Um, Temperance. We also have the Temperance card. And then we also have the Five of Cups. Which is interesting because for Group 1 it was also the same card in the same position. Let me tell you about it. Because um, when looking at all of the cards as a whole, it is a brand new meaning. It, this is something completely different. So um, I sense here, um, with the Five of Cups, um, there is something in your life that you felt was lost for a very long time. It was uh, like um, your hopes and dreams being shattered and there was a feeling of um, not knowing how you can move forward, if you can move forward, right? Something felt lost. Perhaps you were told that um, you can't do this or that which felt meaningful to you. Perhaps you were told that you cannot um, get into a certain profession for whatever reasons. Um, perhaps you were told that um, because of a health challenge you won't be able to do this or that. And again, I am not a medical professional. Please do not take any medical advice from me, but I'm just trying to put the story into context and uh, trying to provide as many examples uh, for you to to relate to, to kind of understand the energy, but in uh, whichever scenarios it may play out. So it may have been that, it may have been something like uh, being told that you cannot get pregnant or it would be very difficult to do so. Something felt lost. You felt like you could never achieve this one thing that 
um, you very much wanted. It gave you a lot of uh, grief and anxiety. I can see here there's a sense of you ruminating and really felt uh, very lost and, and confused and you know having a really hard time to come to terms with it and for a very long time you know just being out in in the cold you know it's like um, winter of the heart but still trying to fill up that cup um, still trying to find balance right temperance is also a kind of balance trying to find balance within your challenges trying to push forward past this uh, disappointment right there is a stoic energy there is something very heroic about you know how you have been trying and trying to push through uh, no matter what this hardship has been and I see here in the year 2023 so with this page of cups I see renewed hope I see um, the blossoming of a brand new emotional start but you can actually look towards the future um, with uh, hope rather than what is the word it's not acceptance resignation yes uh, the word is resignation so uh, it is no longer about uh, looking towards the future with resignation there's a new sense of hope we um, see here the beautiful uh, blossoming trees in spring it feels like the springtime of your life like you were you are being brought by, uh, back to life again there is something that happens here that um, renews your hope that uh, m makes it feel like um, your wish your dream is possible it can become a reality or you know it does become a reality um, when you least expect it and uh, then it, it gets you thinking that you know if I was told I can do this and I still did it um, what else can I do you know how else can I challenge myself is there more to do is there more to learn is there um, some kind of new adventure in store for me so it is you know a very optimistic life view that 2023 um, brings to you through some event uh, some circumstance that uh, you never thought was possible but it still happens for you so this is really beautiful let's pull on the death card now to see what that is about and I will leave the nine of cups for the end so the death card let's pull three clarifiers there also what is it about so the death card <laughs> clarified by the death card this is absolutely hilarious but again it is a confirmation that uh, we have an ending of something uh, to allow for something new to begin the star so again it is this message of hope um, you know an undying wish something that uh, you have dreamt of something that um, you trusted in with your soul um, even when the outside circumstances were were denying uh, the possibility right you have this card the empress so this is really beautiful um really feminine energy just um being in touch with um all of these aspects and again i'm talking about energy i'm uh, not talking about genders here let me just explain the energy of the empress the empress is seduction she is love and care she is an energy of allowing of receiving letting letting go and trust trust that whatever is meant for you will come to you she is uh, the embodiment of the energy of fertility so again i do feel very strongly that um for quite a few of you it is a message of fertility it is a message of growth of a family um, growth of a baby it uh, doesn't matter if you would uh, uh, grow this baby inside your own uh, body inside your own belly or you know uh, your partner or you know someone else would do it for you like a surrogate uh, that that is not the point here the point is that um, this uh, energy uh, of uh, the empress is about fertility and, and expansion 
right? The number three itself is about expansion, is about uh, turning the two, you know, the duality, the, the couple into three, which is essentially a fam family unit um, at the smallest scale, right? So um, I'm definitely seeing here with a double death card that on, on the one hand, um, you are letting go and, uh, you know, uh, completely uh, burning away and leaving behind your past limitations. And then again, it is about the ending of one chapter and the begin beginning of another. So maybe the, the transformation of that um, couple unit uh, into a family, you know, into mother and father or mother and mother, you know, it could also be that father and father. But, you know, it, when we're talking about energies, it is always a duality. So, so um, feminine energy and masculine energy and the yin and yang. So, you know, a little bit of the masculine in the feminine and a little bit of the feminine in the masculine, right? Uh, um, I do see this uh, nurturing element and uh, this fertile and expansive element to whatever is um, uh, going on in your life so you could uh, apply it to a whole different domain. Mm. If it's uh, a matter regarding your career, again, it does speak about expansiveness, you know, like, for example, growing a business or growing your skill set. Uh, in order to align with the demands of a new job that, uh, you know, uh, pays better and uh, uh, requires more responsibility. It could absolutely be that. But it's something that you very much hoped for, even when the odds were stacked against you. You, you still um, had the power to believe and to push forward. It, it was up to you. And... You rose to the occasion, you know, you really gave it your best. And I do sense that um, there was a degree of hard work in this. Because when everything um, feels lost, it may be very easy to give up. But you didn't. You kept pushing forward. You, you kept your uh, clear focus in mind on your dreams, on your future. And uh, um, not allowing any external circumstances to, to affect how you felt within yourself. So this is really beautiful. And the last card that I'm gonna pull on is the Nine of Cups. We have four clarifiers here that just flew out. So let's take them all. Um, we have the Six of Cups again. So that uh, uh, takes us back to your middle card, the Borage, was it? You had right here. Yes, it was Borage. So it takes us back again to this feeling of nostalgia, reminiscing about the past, you know, having a beautiful time, um, thinking about um, past times, while also, you know, um, being very hopeful about the future, as we see here with the Nine of Cups, you know, there's this sense of uh, daydreaming and, you know, satisfaction, um, the man, you know, just really um, takes a moment to reflect on all of the blessings uh, in his life and you know there's a sense of satisfaction and gratitude attached to that card so we have the six of cups again we have the six of swords so um, moving away from a troublesome experience um, into calmer waters you know into a brand new chapter again um, going back to that idea and we have the queen of cups so the Queen of Cups, she's really beautiful. She's all about love. She's all about nurturing. So again, that nurturing, loving energy from the Empress is also reflected right here with the Queen of Cups. And then we also have the Three of Wands. And this is such a beautiful Three of Wands because, again, it uh, takes us back to our star over here. Wishing upon a star and envisioning that brand new future. I'm giving you goosebumps. I really love it when a group's reading gives me goosebumps, you know. It shivers down my whole spine and, you know, this is just so gorgeous. Um, it is, um, I, I would say, my favorite three of wands in any kind of deck because it speaks of possibilities and again that message that, you know, no one thought that I could do this but I still did it. What else is, is in store for me? You know, what else can I do? There's this feeling of hope and, you know, optimism, uh, gratitude also, gratitude for what you have, and also, 
eagerness to experience whatever the future has in store for you, um, you are embracing it with an open heart, uh, you are ready to move past any kind of troubles, you know, again, if there has been anything dragging you down, weighing you down, um, you are ready to, to completely let go of that, uh, you know, just embrace your brand new life, you know, with, with gratitude, with love. There is this um, big sense of gratitude for the past, so everything that the past um, has taught you, and also excitement for the future. This is really interesting because while I pulled um, three uh, different cards for three different themes, uh, they just kind of blended together. You know, sometimes the cards want to tell a story. Um, sometimes a reading uh, doesn't like to be put into containers. So, you know, let's separate, you know, one matter, place it over here and another one over here. I really think that, you know, there is this bigger story to what is happening to you in 2023. It may be, of course, several things that will bring you joy and fulfillment. The tarot uh, didn't want to give me the specifics on what um, these things may be, but again, it is about something that you wish for or some things that you wished for. So think back and look within, um, reflect on those desires. Again, as I said, um, whatever is happening for you will happen at a moment where you are ready to um, let it go, to release it, to release uh, not the desire, but the expectation of an outcome. When you are able to release that and um, just uh, focus maybe on the mundane, you know, to distract yourself, you know, just to live your life and um, that's when it will come into being, that's when it will happen. And I, I do feel that it will bring you so much joy, so much satisfaction. And again, that um, renewed optimism and zest for life. And I really, really enjoyed doing your reading here, Group 2. I, I'm so grateful that I could do this reading for you. Oh, it was such a blessing. So if you will allow me, I, can I take that into my day? Because it was really very wonderful. And I do hope you enjoyed it yourself. If you did, uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. I do pick a card readings every week. I really love uh, bringing these readings to you. But for now, this is where I leave you. I'm wishing you a good day or a good night, wherever you are. Take good care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hello, Group 3! Welcome to your reading on uh, what are the three things, three most important things to look forward to in the year 2023. So today you chose this uh, beautiful blossoming rose and I see you blossoming and growing just like it uh, in the year 2023. Perhaps uh, for you there will be some uh, physical changes, some appearance changing that will really uh, give you this uh, glow, this uh, energy about you that, you know, will really make you feel so, so confident and so attractive and, you know, w w will also attract other people to you. So I see you being very beautiful, very elegant. And with a card of opportunity, um, wow, this is, first of all, we see a downpour of money or precious jewels from the sky. So um, this could definitely be a message of prosperity for at least some of you. Uh, there's a newfound sense of abundance or increased prosperity. So um, being able to earn a bigger income than ever before, uh, being able to um, experience um, some of the better things in life, some of the more luxurious things in life. I see that um, for some of you, it could be in the form of a business or a career opportunity, either, it, either something that you create or something that you just uh, happen to hear of and, you know, it is um, just a perfect match for uh, your skill set and your interests. But um, this could also uh, speak of an opportunity in the love realm. 
So uh, meeting someone completely new and unexpected, you know, if um, some of you are single, it could very, very well be that uh, a new person enters your life. And it is um, almost like, you know, an opportunity that you would have never imagined. So um, aside from the love and the passion that you might grow for this person, there may be something else here. I'm getting the feeling, again, of abundance, of prosperity. So um, you might need someone that you fall in love with and they happen to be a very uh, wealthy and abundant person and you know through that you get um, the possibility to to experience some things that you haven't experienced before perhaps uh, uh, travel uh, perhaps uh, receiving some uh, very special gifts something along those lines so i'm definitely seeing um, abundance and prosperity but let's set this card to the side for now because we have a few other oracle cards pre-shuffled and we will have a look at them next and um, at the end we will draw the tarot and explore the three main themes, the three main things that um, you can look forward to in the next year or in the current year if you are watching in 2023. So we have the card Moon Wishes. The moon shows me patience. Okay, so the moon shows me patience. I feel that um, you may have had to learn patience um, through maybe some not, not so great experiences, but, but you took your lesson, you did your best with it, and you, you continue to move forward in your life. And the moon shows me patience also means that um, like with the cycles of the moon, the moon waxing and then waning, whatever aspects um, of your life were kind of down for you, um, you couldn't really enjoy, um, there was a sense of scarcity, those things will um, slowly take off and improve. You know, it is something gradual, it is a process, so um, we uh, don't go to bed, you know, to a new moon today and uh, wake up to a full moon tomorrow. But, you know, I definitely see this trajectory of growth, of expansion over here. So this is what this card shows me. Now, let's have a look at your tea leaf fortune cards. We have we have the moon again. I had forgotten. I had a quick look when I pre-shuffled, but then I forgot what, what all the cards were. So we have the moon um, changes in your life. So uh, this, again, you know, confirms that this message of change is something uh, transforming and getting better for you. Uh, we have dogs here. Um, getting together with friends. So you might enjoy quite a lot of that. You, you may have a very uh, busy and very fruitful social life in 2023 also. So that will bring you a lot of satisfaction. And then we also have the tiger. Doing something risky, taking a chance. You know, um, this is so exciting. Um, uh, going back to that message of the, the business opportunity or the career opportunity, it, it may very well be um, something that uh, could go either way. So um, taking a chance could lead you on two different paths. But, uh, you know, for some reason, you, you made the right choice. I think your intuition will, will guide you towards the right choice and uh, towards a brand new opportunity that will bring you some form of fulfillment and a lot of abundance. So again, you may be faced with a decision that will appear very risky, but trust your intuition because you are on the right path. All right, what else do we have here? A path. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I swear I had forgotten uh, what all of these cards were. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't doing it just for show. I shuffled these yesterday early in the morning and now it's today. It's today. It's Friday afternoon. So, um, yes, I completely forgot what the cards were. So, your path. Um, number 36. Have courage to follow your own path. So, again, uh, like a tiger charging in um, towards what they want. Uh, you will also, you will also um, have that uh, determination 
again to to do something risky but something that you know is for you is meant for you okay then we have story keeper uh, tell your story legacy write your wisdom okay and then we have field of dreams card number 21 field of dreams and then we also have two cards over here with a nine of fire and also the nine of water and i'm starting to lose my voice i, I hope it's not another cold from my son's daycare but so yes um let's talk about this card over here field of dreams number 21 i think that um just as these fairies are um sitting in this field of unhatched eggs um eggs uh, full of possibility uh, but not yet ready not yet ready to open up you know there's um a sense of potentiality here multiple options multiple choices you don't know what's inside each of them just as uh, you have to wait for them uh, to hatch to see what kind of creature is inside in the same way you have to actually make a decision a very firm strong decision to go go on a particular road to see what that has in store for you what kind of life experiences what kind of people what, what kind of opportunities are there for you if you take that chance i see that you have had or you will have a lot of opportunities given to you you will have choices and i get it that um, at least uh, two if not more of those choices will seem tempted will seem tempting to you will seem attractive okay the card is called field of dreams so it would appear that um on the surface that um any kind of any one of those possibilities can actually lead to the fulfillment of your dreams but you need to take your shot you need to take your uh, chance here and make a decision and that decision um, will affect your life but again as we saw here with this card it will bring you an opportunity for something better so i do feel that uh, whatever choice you are called to make in 2023 will be the right one for you i see here with story keeper tell your story legacy write your wisdom you will feel called to or you'll even be asked to share um, one of your life experiences perhaps it's something that um, you are really good at that uh, you are meant to share with this world perhaps there's some advice um, you can give to others that would really make a difference for them or your peers will see something in you that um, they will really want to know more about. They will ask. I see people asking, can you please uh, share your story? Can you please teach us what you know? I think um, you have had some form of success either recently or, you know, it's upcoming in the very near future. And others will want to learn from it they will want to uh, benefit from your lesson also so i see here in the year 2023 that you will really be called to tell your story to teach others about um, what you have experienced and that will in turn um, give them a lot of wisdom and a lot of insights also i can see here with a nine of water that um, there's this sense of spring of renewal um, we, we've also had this um, kind of feeling with the other groups in one way or another but what i'm most drawn to when i'm looking at these beautiful blossoms and also peach you know peaches are um, really beautiful fruits uh, in my opinion and they're so so tasty and sweet and you know there's this uh, almost a sensuality um, when when you're thinking about uh, that peach you know biting into it and you know having those sweet juices dripping all over you so again this feeling of sensuality this feeling of beauty 
um, will be something that um, defines your whole year. So again, it may be something um, in regards to your physical appearance, a change in your physical appearance, an improvement that is so drastic that everyone around you notices and they see you as uh, so beautiful, so elegant, so refined. And perhaps uh, that's what they want to learn from you. So they will ask you, oh, what did you do? Tell me more about it. You know, I, I, I want to... I want to do the same, you know, I want to uh, look like you. What did you do? Did you um, start some kind of new beauty routine? Um, have you been working out lately? I don't know, there is something about your physical appearance that um, is just so attractive, so enticing, that others will want to know more about it. And also the Nine of Water, the Nine of Cups, um, is a card of emotional fulfillment. So um, there is a sense of happiness about this uh, uh, change in appearance. Maybe it's something that uh, you have wanted to do for a very long time. And uh, you will feel so, so confident, so happy and so approving of yourself um, when you finally do it. Uh, you will find yourself uh, speaking up more, uh, smiling more, wanting to go out more. So this is... Um, something really beautiful and very reaffirming because uh, sometimes if we have um, physical insecurities uh, we may hold back just a little bit you know perhaps it's not that important because you know looks aren't everything right you know there's more to each person you know personality is so important you know the energy that uh, they give out is essential but when you're feeling comfortable in your own skin you, you just radiate you really have this uh, um, feeling of being able to show all of yourself to the world. So that's so lovely. And um, the Nine of Fire over here and Wild Cherry um, really speaks of efforts that are being crowned. So if there has been something that you have been working on, you're really at the very last step of the process, the final hurdle um, before uh, being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So your angels are reminding you that whatever processes you have been through, you're at the very last step. You need to give it one final push, just one push to accomplish what you've been after this whole time. So um, these are the messages that I get from your oracle cards. I will just uh, put them away real quick and I will come back with your tarot, all right? So see you in a moment. All right, group three, so I have these two decks prepared today for you. I will be using this one to get three main messages, three main themes, things that uh, you should look forward to in 2023, and I will use this other, other deck to clarify. So I will put that aside for a moment. And today I'm not taking any reversals. So let's see what the cards have to tell us. Group three, in 2023, three things they should look forward to. Okay, give me three things, three cards. This one wants to come out, Ace of Cups. This speaks of an emotional start. Perhaps in love. Let's see. And then we have the star and the ten of pentacles, which actually showed itself when I cut the deck, when I split the deck. So, wow, this is really beautiful. First of all, the star um, speaks of hopes and dreams, something you aspire to do and uh, you, you put your trust in, you wished upon a star, and um, here it is finally entering your life. Um, the star also speaks of healing, so um, if there may have been some struggle in one aspect of your life, um, you will be granted uh, healing, either emotional healing, physical healing. Um, anyway, I'm, I just want to put this disclaimer out there that I'm not a medical professional, so you know, if you're dealing with any kind of health issues, uh, do speak to a doctor, speak to a physician, but again, um, just to 
to highlight what um, the card, what kind of messages the card is showing me. Is that again, if you have uh, prayed for uh, healing in any aspect of your life, then uh, 2023 uh, will be the year where you get to experience that. And with the Ten of Pentacles, I see this um, overall sense of fulfillment. So Ten of Pentacles speaks of uh, uh, family and uh, legacy uh, and financial abundance as well as emotional abundance. So again, going back to our initial message of um, meeting someone new or getting into a relationship where um, the person is uh, prosperous, uh, they're abundant, or, you know, and maybe uh, both of you are. So again, uh, both of you have a very good income that really takes care of all of the practical matters and uh, allows you to experience the finer things in life. So that will actually be a very strong possibility in 2023. And along with that goes the, comes the emotional fulfillment, which is also shown on the card. So the possibility of uh, actually sharing your life with someone who loves you and cares for you, and perhaps even starting a family, whatever that may mean to you. But there is this feeling of wholeness, of completion, and it is um, possibly so something that you have wanted for a really long time. Perhaps you have desired marriage uh, or a long-term commitment and um, either the right person for you shows up uh, during this year or someone you are already in a relationship with uh, decides to move things forward and take your relationship to the next level. So that is also a possibility. But we have here with the Ace of Cups a brand new emotional start. So if it is with a new person, they are really honest and true in their feelings, so they really want to uh, offer you love and emotional connection, emotional stability. Uh, but if it is with a person that um, you already have some kind of connection in place, um, it will be almost like a reset and an upgrade at the same time. So um, not only will they be um, open to, to work on uh, your relationship, you'll almost feel like a brand new relationship where, where, where they really put in the effort and uh, they want to make you feel uh, loved and acknowledged and accepted. So this is really beautiful. These are the messages that I'm getting off the cards uh, just to begin with. But now I will actually clarify all of these. I will get three cards for each. And Okay. I thought that I split the deck the wrong way. So have any reversed cards I will just uh, flip them to the right side so what message I was clarifying I wanted to start with a star so we have here the nine of swords okay two more cards we have the world the world card is very beautiful um, it is a very um, strong energy of you know uh, completing a cycle and also um, moving on to something better. There is a sense of wholeness and completeness and of um, lessons learned as you uh, move towards a, a brand new future, essentially. Let's pull one more card. One more card here for group two. A whole lot of cards wanted to come out, but that one in particular that just flew over my table, I will take that one because it really stood out. And it is the chariot. So again, there will be uh, some swift movement over here. Um, in regards to a desire that you have held very close to your heart with a star, something that you had undying faith in, which... Um, has also given you a fair share of anxiety and worry with the Nine of Swords. So perhaps just to give you some examples over here, um, if you have had a time in your past where you have struggled with your finances, but you knew, for example, that you had an excellent business idea that you were just ready to uh, take all the way and turn it into a reality, this is the year where you actually um, get all of the information organized, you know, everything that you need becomes crystal clear in your head and you just um, charge in. 
and start this new chapter with a lot of hope. It is almost, um, in a sense, uh, you are divinely guided and uh, you are charging forward towards your goals. And I, I think that with this attitude, um, you are guaranteed success, essentially. This all speaks of success. Pushing through uh, the obstacles and learning many things along the way, getting a crystal clear vision and uh, then taking um, actionable steps and moving forward with uh, you know, such focus and such ease that success is essentially guaranteed. I'm uh, definitely getting this feeling that it may be um, in the realm of finances, really in the realm of career. It could also be um, some kind of life change, uh, a change in living situation, for example, so uh, purchasing a new home. For some of you, it may really be the home of your dreams or one that um, offers you uh, so much comfort. And again, perhaps it would be uh, moving to a new city or a new country. And you finally have all of the details sorted, all of the practical things taken care of. So you can take this step. And it is a whole new experience and, uh, you know, something that you have uh, very much desired. So next I will pull on the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I have all the cards mixed up. Okay, my bad. I think that should be fine. So Ten of Pentacles, three cards to clarify the Ten of Pentacles. I'm really sorry about losing my voice. Um, we have Four of Cups. Mm. You were indisposed about this aspect of your life. Let me just say that for now. You were indisposed. It was like, um, it was always raining. Something was not moving. But all of a sudden it is with a Knight of Wands. Absolutely. Someone is coming, rushing in. Uh, and with a star, he, uh, they are, <laughs> they are the kind of person that fulfills all of your desires. You know, this is your dream partner. I would dare say, uh, you know, someone who really takes uh, many, if not all of the boxes, and they are really charging in. So um, if you have been um, feeling indisposed, if you have been disappointed um, of the way your uh, love life was going here with the Four of Cups, you know, uh, someone is absolutely rushing in. Um, it may be someone from your past, uh, someone you are currently uh, dealing with, uh, just having a full reset and uh, just giving it another go and actually um, going the extra mile and doing their best. But if uh, you are currently single and um, you are looking for a new person, and you know, it will actually um, take you off guard. You may be, for example, you know, uh, checking out different dating apps or, you know, going on date, getting to meet new people. And they always uh, seem like um, quite a disappointment. You guys don't click or, you know, they, they have uh, different uh, interests and different aspirations and, you know, these dates um, don't go so well. And all of a sudden, uh, this one person shows up and they just seem to be um, everything that you've ever wanted. And, you know, um, the two of you are on the same page. And um, if you want, um, you know, if you want a family, you know, if you want a stable, um, long-term commitment, they are ready for that. So they will make it very clear right from the get-go that, yes, they are for that. And, you know, they are interested in you. There's a lot of passion here with the Knight of Wands. So um, they are very willing and, you know, almost too eager to come your way because there's so much attraction here. And uh, just as much as, uh, you know, um, you see them in this uh, beautiful light, uh, they actually take all the boxes, uh, they will also um, have you in such high regard as well. There's this beautiful, attractive energy uh, about you that uh, just draws people in so effortlessly. But um, this person, I see, will be uh, the real deal and they will actually want to build something uh, solid and secure with you long term. So this is really wonderful. And I wonder about this Ace of Cups. What is this about? Is it also about a new person coming in or someone else? Let's see. We have three cards here. We have the Sun. We have again the Ace of Cups. Double confirmation. I really love when this happens. And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is like, again, a brand new emotional start 
for both people involved. And when we have two aces of cups, what does that mean? Um, they come together as the two of cups. And, you know, um, both of you, you are such a good match and you are so ready to um, give, give uh, each other your cup of love that, you know, it, it will really bring um, so much emotional fulfillment. You, your heart will be full and we have here the sun card so it will give you uh, a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction. Just um, being with this person, having this connection, which is very authentic, it is very much from the heart. And I see at the same time here with the Queen of Pentacles, it will give you a lot of stability. Perhaps uh, the chance to focus on things that really matter to you. So again, um, if you are interested in having a career change or starting your own business, some kind of entrepreneurial endeavor, um, this person will be so supportive of you doing that. They will um, give you the space, to, the time to, to really work, to really put um, all of the efforts that you need to put into this endeavor. They may perhaps um, even want to work with you. They will be able to work with you. So this may start out uh, even as a work connection and you realize um, you share this common vision and goal. So you will be able to work together on a new business enterprise. But I see a lot of stability for you and a lot of abundance. Uh, so much so that you, could, you can also give to others really generously. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles... Um, she's caring and she's also very generous so, and she takes care of the people around her. So, you know, if it's something that you've been wanting to do, actually um, being generous with your friends, uh, your family, I think uh, the year 2023 will um, bring you all of the opportunities to do that. Just give you this uh, sense of stability and financial security and also emotional security in order to um, give back to everyone who is important to you. Perhaps you will be even called to um, give out to charity, you know, invest some of your money there, you know, give to a cause that you really believe in. But I, I really see uh, this person, this love connection being very instrumental in that. Perhaps it is something that they teach you whatever um, know-how they uh, bring to the table. So um, you might have some kind of business idea, but you don't really know how to put it in practice. And, you know, um, this uh, person, this love connection comes into your life and they just happen to know it. And, you know, it, it is almost like um, some help that was sent by the divine. But I, I see them being very supportive of you and them also being a very abundant person. So um, you will feel almost spoiled and pampered. So this is really very sweet. It is a nice feeling when you are being generous, when you can actually give to others. You know, it always uh, feels so nice to, to offer a gift or offer a service. But it is also just as nice to, to receive from someone else, you know, um, beyond the receiving end of that generosity. And I, I really feel that um, any kind of anxieties that you may have uh, experienced in the past, you realize they are uh, fleeting and, you know, they are absolutely coming to an end here. So this is all I see here for you, group three. I really love doing this reading for you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. If you enjoyed, uh, please consider giving it a like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more pick a card readings. I post these every single week. But for now, this is where I'll leave you. I hope you're having a good day or a good night wherever you are. Take good care and I will see you in my next video. Bye!